What did you do when you made it to Megan? She's there on the ground. We both, Marie and I both felt for a pulse. And neither of us could get a pulse. And Marie noticed that her earlobe was changing to a purple color. So just knowing with her ICU experience and some of my nursing background, we turned her over and Marie started compressions and I took over airway maintenance. And then we kind of kept at that for uh, about five minutes or so before we had another runner that happened to show up and, and he was he identified himself as a paramedic and he jumped in to help out. And then following that, an ER doctor showed up and jumped in to try and help out. And, you know, it was about 10 minutes before we got an AED there. Uh, somebody had called 911 and paramedics were on the way and 15 minutes before an ambulance showed up. But in that meantime, we were just doing everything we could. I'm sitting there talking to her, telling her she's not alone, you know, knowing she's probably not hearing it, but just trying to make sure that she's feeling, you know, if there is anything there that, that she knows there's somebody there, we weren't going to leave her. Uh, and she was going to be a fighter and get through it. And, and Cameron, obviously, background in CPR, was this the first time that you actually uh, ran a code of sorts where you had to perform CPR? Yeah, first time I've, I've ever actually had to use the training. Uh, so, you know, after all the years of kind of knowing it from, you know, years before being a lifeguard and other things, but glad I glad I remembered it, glad I knew it, glad it kicked uh, in. Right now. We are all very glad, and especially... Uh, Megan, but to backtrack a little bit, Megan, did you have any pre-existing conditions? I mean, you're a seasoned pro runner. Any family history? Were you feeling off that day? Was there anything that that uh, you know was a red flag that an event like this may occur? No, not at all. We do have family history, but even having family history, I does. I mean, I've been marathon for 12 plus years, was in the best shape of my life as far as I knew. And yeah, the last thing I thought would happen is anything cardiac. So it's just, I just still can't believe it actually happened to me. We're living in uncertain times. Delta variant is emotional. It's not always easy to keep up with the latest medical headlines. That's where the doctors come in. Now in our 14th season, the doctors continue to bring health and happiness into your life, giving you solid takeaway information. Things aren't being as heavily regulated as you might think. And we're uncovering medical scams to keep you safe. A lot of them contained a dangerous chemical known to cause cancer. What works and what doesn't. I'm always a doctor, but this was one of the few times that I was a patient, and it can be scary. The hottest trends in beauty and wellness. Pull it up, keep it tight. The prognosis is good. The doctors, a prescription for a better you.